Go, go, Power Rangers! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Is it surprise announcement day or something? Like, what is going on? It's just like one thing after another of, of big announcements coming out. I don't understand what's going on today. Uh, fans of Pokemon games, Nintendo announced the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire games coming to Nintendo 3DS this November. Like, out of nowhere, literally, they post a video with the box art and everything, and it's like, what? Where, where did this come from? I mean, I think a lot of people expected, you know, Ruby and Sapphire remakes or something, but now Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, confirmed it's real, it's happening this November. What? I, where, where did that come from? And before that, this morning, Saban Brands made a big announcement. You know, they sent out a little thing to the Power Force members, and they kind of said, hey guys, guess what? There's a big announcement coming this morning. Let people know. And, you know, the Power Force members were kind of teasing something. They didn't know what it was, but they're like, apparently there's a big announcement coming. And last time Saban Brands had any sort of announcement, or they hinted at anything, it was Robo Knight doing the Power Rangers laundry. So I was pretty much like, okay, what is this going to be? Maybe, hey, new episodes of Super Mega Force return this fall. Yay! But no, it was actually like a legit big announcement. It was Saban Brands is partnering with Lionsgate to make a Power Rangers movie. Like on the big screen. Again, finally, after however many years, Power Rangers is coming back to the big screen, and I cannot be any more excited. I am very happy about this, uh, as you can tell. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is coming back to movie theaters, a brand new movie, and it is pretty cool. So they're partnering with Lionsgate, the people that have that have helped make the Hunger Games movies, Divergent, and many others. So this is, you know, this is the real deal. It's happening. We don't know when or anything, but it's happening. And the only thing that we know about the movie is that supposedly it's a reimagining of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which I know a lot of people are kind of tired of Mighty Morphin. You know, they're kind of all Mighty Morphined out, I guess. But, you know, to be honest, it's kind of like Mighty Morphin is what the public knows about. So if Saban Brands wanted to make a film that was truly successful, it would kind of have to be Mighty Morphin. I don't see a way of getting around it. I mean, maybe once you do Mighty Morphin and that film is successful, then they can kind of branch onto other stuff. But to start out with, it kind of always had to be a Mighty Morphin movie. I mean, in order for it to be successful, that's just, it kind of has to. Um, and, you know, I'm actually, I'm okay with that. I think it should be very interesting. Um, because from, from the sound of it, I mean, we know very little about it. We just know supposedly it's a, a reimagining of Mighty Morphin. So it sounds like it's going to be a new cast and everything. And so it probably is, it's not going to be in continuity with the show or anything, which is okay. I mean, that's exactly how the original Mighty Morphin movie was. You know, Ivan Ooze and all that, that was not actually a part of the continuity of the show. But it was still a fun movie. You know, I still like that. So it seems like it's going to be something kind of similar, but obviously updated for, you know, the modern world, I guess. So something new now. And it's kind of exciting to think about, you know. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but just the possibility of potentially original villains or maybe, like, reimagined Zords and, and the suits even, too. Um, I don't know. It's, it's very exciting. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, they're like, you know, I hope they don't ruin Power Rangers with this or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I actually don't think that they will. I mean, yeah, there's always the possibility that they will, but I don't think they will. Um, because this is kind of an official thing from Saban Brands themselves, and they've always been very big about, especially in the recent years, like, Mighty Morphin's kind of all over the place. So they kind of have want to keep it very much like the original. So I don't see them making it all dark and gritty and all that. Um, I, I just don't see them doing that, you know? That's not what the original Mighty Morphin was all about, and it seems like that's what Saban Brands wants to have with this film franchise. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of, um, there's that MMPR fan film, you know, that's being made, right? And personally, I've, I'm not hiding my thoughts about it. I've said it on Twitter and stuff. Um, I really don't like the, the fan film stuff that I've seen because it's very dark and gritty and, and it just, I mean, not that that's a bad thing, but it's bad when you look at it and it pretty much is stripped away everything that defines what Power Rangers is. 
You know, like you can watch a preview for it and not have any clue that it's anything Power Rangers related except for the name drops that they use. You know, they mention Zordon or whatever. Like, aside from that, how would you even know that it's Power Rangers? Like, when you take it that far, that's kind of when you're screwing something up, you know, with, with the, the material there. Um, and I don't think Saban Brands will do that. You know, I think they'll, they'll keep it... Um, yeah, I mean, some things will be different than the show, of course. It's a big movie. But I think they'll keep it mostly in, in vain with the, the series. You know, just like how the original Mighty Morphin movie was. Um, there were some things that were different. The suits were not, you know, spandex and everything. But um, it was still mostly in line with... The, the usual stuff that you would expect from the Power Rangers show. So in, in that aspect, I'm not really worried. Um, uh, I mean, once we kind of know more about it, like the cast, the director and all that, that's when I'll kind of start forming better opinions about some of those things. But as of right now, the idea of the movie doesn't worry me. It actually excites me a lot um, for two reasons, especially one being Power Rangers having a movie made, well, first of all, all, a bunch of news outlets are already reporting this, so it's already getting out there in the press. And the more press that Power Rangers gets, the better it is for the series, because that's potentially more people that would watch the show. So this can only help Power Rangers as a whole, and it can only help it to continue to grow. So from that aspect, as, as a, a fan of the show and wanting to see it succeed, I think that the movie could definitely help spark more interest in, in that, so that's exciting. Um, but then also, as a toy collector and reviewer, this means there's going to be a whole toy line for the movie, and that kind of makes me very excited. Uh, it makes my wallet very scared, but it makes me very excited because, you know, who knows, whatever new designs or whatever they do, they're going to be making toys of that, and that will be very exciting, um, especially if, like, any Zords and stuff are Zord Builder compatible, like, uh, I just, I can't, just all the possibilities are endless, and it, it's very intriguing to see uh, what they do with it. And if, you know, this, this movie they make is successful, I mean, just like with, uh, you know, other things that they've kind of revitalized, Transformers, right? They're doing Ninja Turtles now, and other stuff, you know, if they succeed, they make more of them. So we may have even more Power Rangers movies in the future if this one does well. Uh, now that's kind of, you know, a ways off, but... Just thinking ahead, like, the possibilities are great, and it's uh, it's exciting to me, at least. Um, now, I know it sounds like it's going to be an original cast, original story, and everything. Jason David Frank apparently really wants in on this. He claims it was his idea that, uh, that this happened. Uh, you know, I don't know that I necessarily believe that. I, I think that it was sort of inevitable that, you know, if you're bringing Power Rangers back, I know Saban Brands, when they first brought the license back, they kind of mentioned all of these different things, and they mentioned movies as one of the, their initiatives and everything, and it was just a matter of time, you know, and I certainly didn't expect it today, out of nowhere, I expected it to be like, I don't know, a big announcement at Morphicon or something, but it, it kind of makes sense, you know, it, it's, it really does kind of make sense, especially with the 20th anniversary of the show last year, um, now's the time that people that watch the show grew up, they're adults now, they have kids of their own that would like it, so now's the time to kind of uh, bring it back, and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's exciting to see what they could do with, with the series, and I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, I, I don't know when it will come out. Um, I think it would be neat to tie it in with the 25th anniversary of the show, which will be in 2018, I believe, so that's four years away, uh, which seems like a long time, but, I mean, they literally just announced this movie, so they still have to get somebody to, to write the script, a director, cast everybody, film, and do all that stuff. I mean, it's going to take a couple years um, to do. I mean, we're talking two to three years minimum, um, so it kind of ends up being close to the 25th anniversary timing anyways. And even if it's not 2018, even if it's 2017 or something, um, then they could, you know, for 2018, for the 25th anniversary, it could be for the DVD Blu-ray release. Or they could have the first trailer be during the 25th anniversary year and the movie release after that. I mean, somehow, one way or another, it's around the time of the 25th anniversary. And I think it would be neat if they kind of promoted it in a way, you know, like, hey... The show started 25 years ago, and now we're back with another movie, you know? Something like that. Now, they don't have to, but it just kind of seems to make sense in a way. Um, but regardless, it's uh, very exciting. Um, and I feel like I was forgetting something. Oh, Jason David Frank. That's kind of... I, I, I go off on some tangents sometimes. But so he claims that he kind of 
got this whole thing going, and I don't really believe that. But I think that um, maybe Saban Brands did see through him a bit of the popularity, and maybe they kind of um, have decided to, you know, I don't know. Maybe that it's kind of influenced some of their decisions a little bit, but I don't think it was his idea for the movie to happen. Um, and a lot of people really don't want Jason David Frank back for the movie. Um, and personally, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I think it would be interesting if he was. Um, I, I actually don't mind it either way. Um, I would prefer, like, other Rangers to be there, like the other originals or something, if they're going to bring people back. Um, but I don't, um... Yeah, I, I mean, in terms of his character, like, on the show, Tommy Oliver, I mean, he was a pretty big character in the show, so, and I know that would help bring people to watch the movie, so, um, I could see Jason David Frank being in it, but then again, if it's supposed to be, like, a reimagining of the show with an entirely new cast and everything, I don't see how JDF would fit in, aside from, like, a little cameo, you know? Um, unless it was something like... These were the new Mighty Morphin Rangers, and they were going to fit them into continuity somehow. Or I, I don't even know what they're going to do. Um, but it just seems like from... Uh, now, granted, we just know like a one-sentence thing in a press release. But it seems like from their reimagining of Mighty Morphin that it's just going to be you know an entirely new thing, uh, basically. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm open to, to whatever. I, I think I, I'm just curious to see what they're going to do with it. Um, and we are a long ways away from this happening, I guess, a couple of years, but at least now we have the announcement, you know, we can start to slowly hear things about about everything, and, and maybe at Power Morphicon, uh, we'll get a few more tidbits or something of, of what they, they're aiming for with, with the movie, um, and yeah, I don't know, it's, it's exciting, excuse me, to think about, um, and uh, yeah, it, part of me, you know, kind of wishes that it would have been something to tie more into the TV show, like bring the Dino Charge Rangers on there or something, um, but on the other hand, I know that if it's going to be something that's going to be hugely successful and stuff, like, really the one thing that they have to do is Mighty Morphin. I mean, that's just, that's how it has to be. And, um, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely excited to see what they do with it. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this Mighty Morphin movie announcement? Um, are you excited about it? Uh, are you not excited? And why? You know, tell me, tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, who would you like to see direct the movie? Who would you like to see be cast in the movie? Um, when do you think it's coming out? Just, uh, let's kind of have a little discussion going in the comments, and I'd like to see what you all think. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens with this, and I will, um, continually post these ranger vlogs as we get any major updates and and kind of get my thoughts on it because i'm i'm excited i mean i will be there um day one yeah heck midnight release you know if there's a midnight release i will uh try and be there for it and support the franchise that i love because you know i grew up with it three and a half years old is when i started and here we are now another movie in the making um i have like such fond memories of the original mighty morphin movie um, I, I saw it twice in theaters, and I think the second time, I don't remember the first time seeing it in theaters, but the second time I saw it with my grandmother, uh, my nani, and uh, it was at a movie theater, and I remember halfway through the movie when they're in the forest with the, the dinosaur bones like sitting, like lying around and everything, um, there was a fire at a place nearby, so the movie just paused, and we had to leave for like a half hour or an hour, and then we came back and they finished the movie. Um, so that, that just memory is just stuck in my head, but, um, I just, the Mighty Morphin movie, it just, you know, it holds a special place in my heart, because, I mean, I grew up with it and everything, and it's exciting to see what they do with it now, so I'm very curious to see, um, and as a toy collector and everything, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be so much fun, um, I wanted to, like, cut down on <laughs> doing reviews, but that's not going to happen because there's a movie coming eventually and it's exciting. So, yeah, so that is it. New Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie coming. Saban Brands and Lionsgate working together to make this feature film. Who knows when, but uh, reimagining a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's going to be exciting and I can't wait uh, to see it. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will continue to, to post my thoughts on different Power Rangers related stuff and got more reviews and stuff on the way. So thank you all for watching. See you guys later. And I can't wait to hear the falling words on the big screen. It's Morphin' Time! <laughs>